Once upon a time, in a land of endless twilight and misty forests, there was a dragon named Malachar. Unlike most dragons, who were feared for their strength or their fiery breath, Malachar was known for his insidious cunning and malevolence. His scales were a deep dark green that seemed to absorb light rather than reflect it, and his eyes were like burning coals, always calculating and cold. Malachar had long since grown bored of terrorizing villages with his destructive fire. Instead, he sought to manipulate and control the hearts and minds of those who lived in his domain. His lair was a vast cavern beneath a mountain, filled with treasures he had collected from the many kingdoms he had subjugated. One evening, as a storm brewed over the land, Malachar sat upon his hoard, his long tail wrapped around piles of gold and jewels. He was deep in thought, plotting his next scheme to expand his influence. His plans were interrupted when a young woman clad in a simple cloak approached the entrance of his cavern. The woman was Alara, a humble healer from a nearby village. Her village had been suffering from a mysterious blight that withered crops and sickened livestock. The villagers had tried everything they could think of but to no avail. Desperate, Elara had ventured into the dragon's domain, hoping that Malachar might be able to help her if only for the right price. Malachar, intrigued by the audacity of the young woman, decided to entertain her. He allowed her to approach his horde, though he kept his distance, watching her with a mixture of curiosity and amusement. What brings you to my lair, little healer? He rumbled, his voice echoing ominously through the cavern. Elara looked up, her face set with determination. My village is suffering, crops are failing, animals are falling ill, and no one knows why. We need your help. Malachar's eyes narrowed. He enjoyed playing games with the hopes and fears of mortals. And why should I help you? He asked, a sinister edge to his voice. What could you possibly offer me in return? Elara took a deep breath. I have nothing of value to give you, but if you help my village, I will find a way to make it worth your while. I promise. Malachar was intrigued by her sincerity and her boldness. He decided to test her resolve. Very well. I will help you, but under one condition. You must agree to stay here with me for a year and a day. During that time, you will serve me as my advisor. Elara hesitated, but she could see no other option. The alternative was letting her village suffer. I accept your terms she said, though her heart was heavy with worry. Malachar's eyes glinted with satisfaction. Excellent. I shall help your village, but remember you are bound by our agreement. Now go and don't return until the task is done. Elara left the cavern feeling a strange mixture of relief and trepidation. Malachar, true to his word, used his dark magic to lift the blight from the land. He wove enchantments that restored the crops and healed the animals, but he did so in a way that left his mark. The village prospered, but with a shadow of unease hanging over them. When Alara returned to the cavern after a year and a day, she found Malachar waiting for her. He had grown bored of his lair and had begun to look upon her as a useful distraction. Welcome back, Alara, he said. Are you ready to serve me? Alara nodded, though she was deeply troubled. She spent the next year working with Malachar, learning about his dark magic and the intricate webs he wove to control and manipulate. She became adept at reading his moods and anticipating his needs, all the while plotting her own escape. One night, when Malachar was deeply engrossed in his dark magic, Elara slipped away to a hidden chamber she had discovered. In that chamber she found an ancient artifact, a crystal of immense power that had been used by the ancients to bind and seal evil entities. Elara took the crystal and carefully made her way back to the main cavern. She waited until Malachar was asleep, then she used the crystal to invoke a powerful spell. The spell was designed to imprison Malachar in his own cavern, trapping him in a timeless prison where he could do no more harm. As the spell took hold, Malachar woke and realized what was happening. His fury was palpable, but the crystal's power was too strong. He roared in anger and frustration as he was sealed within the cavern, his freedom and power slipping away. Elara returned to her village, which had been freed from the shadow of Malachar's influence. The land thrived, and the people celebrated her bravery and sacrifice. Though she had spent a year in servitude to an evil dragon, she had emerged victorious having saved not only her village but many others from Malachar's insidious grip. 
And so, the tale of Alara and Malakar became a legend, a story of courage, cleverness, and the triumph of good over evil. The Dragon's Cavern remained a place of ominous silence, a reminder of the darkness that once threatened the land, now forever contained by the bravery of one determined woman.